Hi Year 2, for Ryzen today we're going to be looking at rhyming words. So last week we finished our information text about rainbows. This week we're looking at poetry and yesterday we looked at our new poem which is um, on the Ning Nang Nong by Spike Milligan and it's a nonsense poem. But today we're going to be looking at rhyming words. But first things first, to get us all warmed up, we've got a tongue twister. And you need to try and say this one, it's quite short, but how fast can you say it? So, here goes. Around the rugged rocks, the ragged rascals ran. Around the rugged rocks, ra the, ras the ragged rascals ran. That's quite a tricky one, okay? How fast can you say it? See if you can get your grown-up to record you and send it in. Okay, so... To make a poem rhyme, we use a rhyming word at the end of the sentence or line. So, my big black cat, cat, caught a small rat. So I'm just going to highlight those words. Cat, rat. Okay. So, my big black cat caught a small rat. We've got that at sound. Then he caught a bat who was wearing a tall hat and now my cat is very fat. So if you listen to every word at the end, if you start to notice what they all end in, let me show you, they all end in at, they're that at sound. Okay, so to make a poem rhyme we need to have a rhyming word at the end of the sentence or at the end of the line. Okay, and they're not all the same length. Some are longer than others, but they all end in a rhyming word. Okay, and I'll just highlight this one just to show you. There we go. So, let's look at some rhyming words. Okay. Cat, fat, hat, sat, bat, rat, mat, pat. What is the difference about all these words? And what is the same? And what part of the word helps us rhyme? Now, what's different about all these words is that they all start with a different letter, okay? K. We've got a curly cur there, a k. Huh. We've got a h huh there. An f there. Okay, they all start with different letters. But what's the same? Well, they all end in the same two letters. At. Cat. Fat. We've still got that at at the end. So what part of the word helps us rhyme is this last part here, the end of the word. Okay, so Millie, Millie, that's not five. You have brought back to the hive. So we've got five and hive. Queenie, don't be in a hurry. I have, I have got five, so don't you worry. Hurry and worry. They do look the same and they sound the same. Five. There. Miss Tay needs to wear her glasses. Okay. Don't be cheeky, have a care. All my honey I will not share. Tell me now what else rhymes with bug. Okay, so we've got care and we've got that air sound. Share. And then this rhyme carries on to the next line. Tell me now what else rhymes with bug. My word that rhymes with bug is hook. Okay, so if you look at the end of each word, the sound rhymes. Okay, it's not usually the same sound. Okay, it rhymes. They don't necessarily need to be spelt completely the same like these ones are. Okay, just changing one letter. Sometimes you might have to change two letters. Okay, so... Today we had a lot of rhyme. You can use rhymes all the time. When you speak and when you write, in the morning and in the night. Try to rhyme throughout the day. You can sing rhymes when you play. Rhyme is such fun to do. Try to speak in a rhythm too. Okay, so that was a bit like a song. But with lots of rhyming words at the end of each line. Okay. So now I'm going to say a word and you're going to quickly shout out with your grown-up the word that matches. So I'm going to show you a picture and I'm going to say what the word is and then you're going to look at the pictures and tell me which word rhymes. Okay, so let's go. Dog. Which one of these rhymes with dog? Five. 
four, three, two, one. Dog rhymes with frog. Okay, doesn't rhyme with sun. Doesn't rhyme with cat. Frog, dog. Okay, let's move on to the next one. What rhymes with cat? Five, four, three, two, one. Hat. Not pig, not tree. Cat and hat. You can hear the sounds. Okay, move on to the next one. B. Five, four, three, two, one. What rhymes with B? Tree. Not box, not cup. Okay, next one. House. What rhymes with house? Five, four, three, two. Let's sing. Mouse. Not fish, not bus, or coach. House rhymes with mouse. Okay? So if you read our poem, you can find some rhyming words. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is read the poem with your grown-up and find which words rhyme. So they sound the same and they're at the end of each line. Okay? So let me do one. On the ning nang nong, okay, that line ends in nong, where the cows go bong, nong, bong. We've got that O-N-G, okay, at the end. Okay, so that's my rhyming word, nong and bong. Okay, have a look, have a read through and see what other words rhyme. Okay, they're at the end of the line. So talk to your grown up and then come back to this video and we'll have a little chat. Okay, so we've already found nong and bong. Okay, we're going to carry on reading. And the monkeys all say boo. There's a ning nang ning, a nong ning nang. Ning. So, boo and ning, that doesn't rhyme. There's a nong, nang, ning, where the trees go ping. Ning, ping. Those two do rhyme. They've got the ing sound. So, I'm going to highlight those in orange. Just got to find the same orange. Yeah. Okay. And I've already decided, and the monkeys say boo, and the teapots jibber jabber jim. Okay, so they're not next to each other, but they do rhyme, okay? So boo and jim, okay? Got that oo sound, okay? On the nong ning nang, all the mice go clang. Perfect. Nang, clang. Super, okay? So I'm just going to highlight that, and I'm going to highlight that Blue, blue. Blue. Okay. And you just can't catch them when they do. So it's ning nang nong. Do and do actually go, don't they? Do, do. What I do to find the rhyming words is I say them out loud. So do, do. Do nang. Do clang. Nang clang. Okay. So do actually rhymes with do as well as boo. That's why I'm going to make that yellow. Close enough. Okay. So it's ning nang nong, cows go bong. Ning nong ning nang ning trees go ping. This is a very funny poem. Okay. So it's ning nang nong, cows go bong. Nong. Bong, yes, we've got that one. Ning, ping, yeah, we had that one. Nong, clang, nang, clang, we did say about that one. What a noise place to belong is the ning, nang, ning, nang, nong. Belong, nong. There we go, we've got that rhyming sound. If you look, we've got this sound in both words. Okay, they don't necessarily have to have the same graphene, so how it's written. Okay, has to have the same sound. Sometimes it will have the same graphene, which is how we write our phonics. But sometimes it won't be the same. Okay, just like this one here, do, chew. Okay, they're not. They don't look the same, but when you say them out loud, they rhyme. 
Okay, so I'm going to choose one last colour. I'm going to go with a nice purple. One of my favourites. I'm just highlighting the sound here just to make it really clear what I'm looking at. Okay. So, task one. I would like you to take this red X, okay, and put it on the odd one out of each strip. So, jug, cat, rug, slug. Which word's the odd one out? You're going to drag that X. And you'll put it on the one that you think is wrong. You might have to move it up a bit because it's a big letter. Okay? So that's your first task. And there's enough X's there. Or you can write your own. And just cover the one that you don't think is right. So you will have to pull it up a little bit because it's a big letter. Show you. Just make sure you grab the letter. And just make it clear what letter you're trying to put the X on the, the wrong one. So I'm just going to move this back. And then... I'm going to give you a word and you're going to come up with some rhyming words and write them in the box. Now my thing that I do is I say the words out loud that helps me find rhyming words with the same sounds. Okay? And remember it doesn't have to be spelt with the same grapheme, but it's important that the sound is the same, okay? It's the sound that's important. So, for example, with for, for the word lake, I'm going to say the words out. Lake, rake. Rake's a word because it's what you use in the garden. Okay, rake, take, oh, I'm going to write this down, so lake, rake, take, F fake, I'm using all my phonics and all my sounds to help me out, so I've got lake, take, fake, rake, make, snake, I'm on a roll, snake, Take, that's not a word. Sake, that ah, sake's a word. Bake. Dake, dake's not a word. Gake, no, that's not a word. Okay, so I've come up with lots of words there by using my, my, my letters and kind of replacing that first letter and see how many I can come up with. And I've just typed them in the box. So what you're going to do is I've got, given you some words. So hat, go, shoe, crab, and air. And I'd like you to write the rhyming words in this yellow box here. So think as many as you can. Try and spell them correctly. They might not be spelled correctly because of the different uh, phonic sounds. But have a go for me. They might not look the same. They might not all end in the same the same phonemes, but that's okay. Have a go for me. Once you've done that, hand in and work. Make sure you've worked directly on the slides. Hand in, and me and Miss Sadler will add a comment um, and give you some dojo points, if um, especially for some creative ideas. Okay. So let me know how you get on and drop me a message. But I look forward to seeing how you get on with this lesson. This is quite a fun lesson. Um, this is a lesson that we kind of talk a lot about in class. And you make some funny words up, okay? But I want you to look for some rhyming words that are real words, okay? No nonsense words this time. I want real words. So hat, you could have cat, mat. There's lots of options. Let me know how you get on. And I'll see you soon, year two.